All right, I'm in hole number one of the 2020 Summer Major. I'm in the opening round of the Rookie Division. I'm in my low-level account, so I've got... Uh, I won't necessarily say that they're low-level clubs because I've been working on them, but I haven't played anything higher than Tour 5, and I've only played a couple hours in Tour 5. It does not take very long to get your clubs to uh, mid-level. So let's go check out hole number one. Hole number one's been changed. <clears throat> it used to look like that on the left, and now it looks like that on the right. So what I've been doing, and I've only played this account one time, <laughs> And just trying to do the same shot as I'm doing with my other account where it's a max OP shot coming from over here coming up. But what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to bring out a big topper. I'm going to play this like it's one-on-one -on -one and I'm just trying to force a shootout. I'm trying to give myself a shot at the cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it as far out here as I can with my big topper. BT. And I'm going to use like a power one or a power two ball. And then I'm going to just try and bring it straight in with a sniper and see like what that shot looks like out there. Because this may be a no fuss, no must, no risk. Hit it out there as far as you can. Bring it to the cup. You got a shot at picking up the eagle. But there's none of the OP risk with these mid-level clubs. So we'll see. I'm And I'm not sure because I haven't hit that shot out there. I'm not sure what it looks like. But I'm going to see if a sniper can get me out there. And I can help that sniper out by bringing a bigger ball, but I don't have to do the OP on the drive. Let's see if I can get that in with a sniper. I'm not sure if a sniper is enough of a club because this is low and low enough level. It's only got 164 in power, so I'll probably have to help it out on the other end. But instead of bringing a Titan, I'm going to bring a Katana because I don't, I don't think I need anything more than that. I, I could probably do it with a Quasar or a Marlin, but we'll see. We'll see how it rolls. Just hit it straight forward. I have not taken this shot at all. So this whole, the reconfigure, everything I've done on it so far with my upper developed counts has been to the right. And depending on the way that the wind was blown, there used to be three different ways that you could go at this hole. I think they've kind of taken the middle way out. So you're either going to go to the left or the right. And we'll see what the left side looks like since I haven't taken that shot before. Max top spin. Get me out there in that range. I'm going to be about two rings off of that transitional surface. Taking the wind out. It's around two per ring. I'm going to do about a ring and a third. Max curl. Hit it one ring, two rings, great on the inside, on the left, which puts me closer to that rough. That's why I always leave myself some separation between on those shots so that you can still hit the shot great on the inside of the outside. Now, I should have a pretty straight in shot from here. It's going to be in my wood versus a long iron, so you've got to deal with that. But with lower developed clubs, my that sniper, if I can reach up there, has great ball guide, and great accuracy, which is better than being in a long iron that doesn't have great ball guide and great accuracy. And I'm just going to take a straight up shot. I'm not worried about elevations. Because I have no idea from this side. Any elevation numbers we have that are from the other side, I have no idea like how they equate out over here. Distance is the key, like seeing if we have enough distance to get up there. Still a little bit short. Power three ball would help me. Pull over just a little and put on a little teeny bit more side spin. Got one top spin. Get it where it's going up towards the cup. Four miles per hour. Four rings. Just try and hit it perfect. Hitting it perfect. See if we can get some semblance of getting towards the cup. Just a bit outside. 
It's maybe half a bar of topspin. Nice and easy, no risk. Part of the problem with lower developed clubs is not necessarily like, you know, if you've got a Nirvana or if you've got great recovery clubs, it's not that big of a deal sometimes on some of these par fours if you hit, you know, if you take that OP shot and you hit in the rough, you're fine. But if you catch the sand because of they, the green used to be over here and they've swung it out and they've lengthened the hole out. So it used to be if you hit in the sand right over the river, you could make it with a Spitfire, but you can't make it anymore. And I don't have a Spitfire in this. So even if I was, even if it was the old configuration, there's risks involved. You end up in the rough out there. You could be in big trouble. If you're in a, if you got a Nirvana, you may not be in big trouble. But if you don't have a Nirvana, you could be in big, big trouble. So just trying to give myself a look at it where I have zero risk of getting into big, big trouble. It's better to come to this hole every time and end up with a guaranteed birdie. I still got a little bit of a putt here to do. Hit me perfect. In the hole. I think I could help myself out there just a little by bringing a power three ball. But I think that shot right there, there's zero risk of anything less than a birdie. And you still have a great shot. And I think for the clubs that are in this particular account, my sniper has the best ball guide and best accuracy of any club that I could bring. Long iron. If I could get into short iron, I could bring my Kingfisher. And I'm starting to get something that's, that's similar. But getting into my short iron is not going to really be an option. I will forfeit. I will forfeit. All right, that was hole number one. Nice and easy. The holes with lower level accounts that are going to be tough in this in this particular tournament are holes three and nine, and those are holes that we're going to have to we're going to have to bring out some stuff and really have a game plan when we go to them. But hole number one should be a pretty nice. Give us a good look at it over there. Like I said, no risk. And we still have a great shot of picking up the eagle. All right. Thanks for watching.